Um, so, uh, my name is Nancy again, and I'm here representing, or, or I was asked to speak um, about the work of the Alliance for Just Philadelphia. Um, I'm a little bit, I don't know if it was cut, but just because I have folks sitting in the row that are here <laughs> from my organization, I'm the executive director and co-founder of Viet Lead, um, an organization in Philadelphia that Centering resilience based organizing, centering our cultural practices, not as sort of like a background or historical thing, but sort of like as the uh, center and place where we could imagine where we would want to go forward. Um, but the Alliance for Just Philadelphia uh, is sort of both a reflection on what y'all were talking about and sort of me thinking now, I'm like, man, if, if I didn't feel urgent before, I feel much more urgent now. <laughs> um, which is, the, it's a, it's an experiment. Uh, almost 30 uh, grassroots, space building, uh, black and brown and immigrant refugee led organizations um, and groups across Philadelphia, across 12, uh, 13 issue areas. Um, we've been um, in the same, we've been brought together in the same room um, probably now for about a year to try to figure out how to. Uh, coordinate our issue area wins, which are ways that we can flex our muscle in the city, but do this in a way that we're intervening in this electoral sense, so that we can inspire and instill, or so that we can figure out how to flex our governing muscle vis-a-vis -vis the current like government, right? So, or the, cur the current like city council. I guess uh, just a couple of things of the historic room, which is like, this is the latest iteration of multiple attempts to do this. So just calling about history, it's like, you know, I'm 37, I've been in the city of Philadelphia for 10 years, this is my third try. Um, and just me, right? Um, and I feel like it's, it's we're, we're trying to do this because of, collectively we, are, we have been brought up in this very particular political moment where we now as leftists in Philadelphia understand um, not just how power is working, but like, what it means to try to build our power in this political moment and exercise it in the, in the arena of the city, mm -hmm. right? And it's, it's like so much, as you said, it's not necessarily, it's, it's not, it's, you know, my parents were refugees from Vietnam. Um, I'm uh, first generation in the United States. I, I'm here and all of the folks in my community, you know, 58% uh, are limited English speaking. When we think about like, what does it mean to lead and govern in a city in the United States, in Philadelphia, like these are not practices that folks in my community are connected to. And, and so it's, I think it's like, however, when we're in the room together, I'm going long, but I'll try to be sure. When we're in the room together to try to, I think it's like we're bringing, the ideas that we're bringing all of our people to try to practice and experiment with this idea and figure out how to do it in a way, in a way where we can be practicing solidarity with each other and practicing what it means to move together um, and bringing all the lessons of how we either um, failed or uh, made missteps in the past. So this is the latest iteration. Good luck to all of us in this room. Um, but, but just that like the, the resiliency and the capacity of us to keep trying and keep going, that's what it is about in Philadelphia now too. Oh, I'm in Philadelphia too. You're going to, she's going to succeed this time around. <laughs>